Welcome to our video titled, How Much Are You Willing to Lose? This video is brought to you by Higgins Capital, San Diego's fiduciary financial advisor. This every investment decision involves risk. You're putting your hard-earned money on the line, hoping for a return. The higher the potential reward, the bigger the risk. It's a balancing act, folks. Think of it like a seesaw. On one side, you've got potential profits. On the other side, potential losses. Your job as an investor is to find that sweet spot in the middle. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. At Higgins Capital, we bring you original content that you won't find elsewhere. Subscribe and be notified when we post. Thanks and now on with the video. You want to maximize your returns without taking on too much risk. Some folks are all about that high risk, high reward life. But remember, what goes up can come crashing down. That's why it's crucial to diversify your portfolio. Spread your investments across different asset classes, industries, and geographies. Investing isn't about getting rich quick. Stick to your investment plan and don't chase after every hot stock tip you hear. When a market is on fire, do you ride the wave or head for the exits? It's a dilemma every investor faces. FOMO, or the fear of missing out, is a powerful motivator. When everyone else is making money, it's tempting to join the party. But what goes up must come down. Markets are cyclical. That's why it's crucial to have an exit strategy. Determine your risk tolerance. How much are you willing to lose before you hit the sell button? It's easy to get caught up in the hype when the market is soaring. But it's important to stay level-headed and stick to your investment plan. Remember, investing isn't about timing the market perfectly. It's about time in the market. They say those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. This holds true in investing, especially with market bubbles. Let's rewind to the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. Everyone was investing in anything with a dot-com at the end of its name. Valuations skyrocketed, and investors were throwing money at companies with no profits. The bubble burst, wiping out trillions of dollars in wealth. Fast forward to the mid-2000s and we saw a similar story with the housing bubble. Home prices soared to unsustainable levels fueled by subprime mortgages. The bubble burst in 2007, triggering the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. Remember, history doesn't repeat itself but it often rhymes. How do you know if a market is overheated? Are there any warning signs to watch out for? One red flag is high valuations. When stock prices are significantly higher than their underlying fundamentals, it could be a sign that the market is getting ahead of itself. Keep an eye on metrics like the price-to-earnings ratio or P.E. ratio. Another warning sign is excessive speculation. When investors are piling into assets based purely on hype, it's a sign that fear and greed are driving the market. Pay attention to margin debt levels. High levels of margin debt can be a sign of excessive risk-taking. It's important to look at the big picture and consider all the factors at play. When the market is red hot, it can be tempting to jump in with both feet. But what about the flip side? Is it ever a good idea to move to cash when everyone else is riding the bull market? It all comes down to your individual circumstances, your time horizon, and your risk tolerance. If you're approaching retirement or have a short-term financial goal, moving some of your investments to cash might make sense. You don't want to be forced to sell your investments at a loss if the market takes a sudden downturn. On the other hand, if you have a long-time horizon and can stomach some volatility, staying invested might be the better strategy. Liquidity is another factor to consider. Cash is the most liquid asset, meaning you can access it quickly and easily. Ultimately, the decision of whether to stay invested or move to cash is a personal one. Just make sure you've carefully considered all the factors involved and are comfortable with the potential risks and rewards. You know what's more unpredictable than the stock market? Your own brain. We humans are emotional creatures and those emotions can wreak havoc on our investment decisions. One common bias is FOMO, or the fear of missing out. When everyone else is making money, it's hard to resist the urge to jump on the bandwagon. Another bias is recency bias. We tend to give more weight to recent events when making decisions, then there's confirmation bias. We tend to seek out information that confirms our existing beliefs. So, how do you overcome these biases? First, be aware of them. Recognize that your emotions can cloud your judgment. Second, stick to your investment plan. 
challenge your own assumptions and be open to different points of view. Investing isn't a game. It's about securing your financial future and making your money work for you. It's about finding that balance between growing your wealth and protecting it from unnecessary risks. Remember, there's no magic formula. What works for one investor might not work for another. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're not sure where to start or need guidance, consult with a financial advisor. A good advisor can help you create a personalized investment plan that aligns with your goals. Above all, remember that investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay informed, stay disciplined, and stay invested. Thank you.